Yeah. We What's back, y'all. Let's go. Back. back with another freaking bitch, yo. Video. Like a TV at the store. <laughs> She's doing a boomerang. Oh, here on the side, y'all. Hey, man, so y'all already know what it is, man. We got Trevor. We got the best guest moments from between the scenes of the Daily Show. Um, so we're going, I'm curious to see, I'm curious to see the guest who he brings out. I see this first clip that's already up. That's, that's, oh man, y'all can't even see what I see. Hold on, hold on. You gotta do it over. No, no, no. Okay. No. So we do the, um, we're going to do the best guest moments, like I was saying, but y'all see us, this first clip is Oprah. So I remember when she did this one, this one was pretty good. Oprah. We saw this on the, on the one of the other ones. Yes. Oprah. Got my mic. Um, yes, so she was going anyway, don't be greedy. <laughs> but, 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 I mean, this is like just a moment where we get to hang out. I know you, you're dying, so we'll do this. Two questions, I'll take one from the side of the audience and one from that side, something you've always wanted to ask. Don't ask her what her favorite color is. <laughs> think for a moment. I'll ask her one question first, just to like okay. get us on the, so you can think for a little bit. Just one from this side, one from that side. This you, is your the best behind question. the scenes thing you do, right? Oh, this is between the scenes. Between yeah, we'll the just, scenes, we'll okay. just hang out and do it. Okay, this okay. is like your, it's oh, funny, yeah. I didn't know, you talk to your audience. Yes. Yes, this is me, I just hang out with the real people. Isn't that cool? I love it, are you I kidding me? I love it. Um, I wanted to know one thing. You are Oprah Winfrey, you have been very wealthy for a long time, you've worked hard to get there. I often wonder how much normalcy there still is in your life. Like, how many normal random things happen to you? Like, does you, when was the last time your phone ran out of battery while you were speaking? <laughs> does that ever happen to you? No. Okay. <laughs> like, like, never, like, so for instance, has there ever been a moment where you're in the bathroom and then the toilet roll is done? No. Oh, no. <laughs> What is the most... No, you know why? Because at my house, at my house, I don't know if this happens at your house, but at my house, when... Uh-uh, Oprah, only at your house. Okay. And everybody who is, who is wealthy as you. <laughs> the, the toilet roll is checked regularly, and when it's been checked, like after you go into the bathroom, yes. somebody will come in and it's folded fold into a little, little triangle. triangle. Like yes. you live in a hotel? Yes. <laughs> it's like folded in a triangle <laughs> every time. Okay, okay, we'll take, one from, we'll take one from each side. No, I will tell you though, some, oh. something's very normal that yes. you wouldn't think. Okay, let's go. I travel with my own, uh, I travel with my own bread and I bring my own avocados. To Are you hotel. serious? Yes, I do. So I have an avocado orchard, so I think oh, it's Oh, the, the story got not normal, Oprah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell you something yeah, normal, then yeah, you should have my I own have avocado orchard. orchard. Okay. But <laughs> which so, means so I think it's ridiculous to pay it. for avocados. Which is why you bought your own orchard? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on now. That's not a normal story. Okay, all right. I okay. made my own avocados because they're too expensive. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Another thing, very normal, very normal. I do not, the one thing I will not do is is send my underwear out to be washed or cleaned. Wow. No. Okay, no, that's, okay, that's, that's yes. Normal. You know why? My grandmother would love that. Because it's like, $5 for a pair of panties. <laughs> that's the reason? That's the reason. Oh, my, grandmother's, my grandmother would say, like, so, for instance, you know when you put the washing in the basket and yeah. everything? And so everyone in the family, so I would do washing, then my cousin would do, everyone would do it, and then sometimes I would throw the underwear, and then my grandmother would come, and then she'd be like, Chapa, you want people to know your secrets? <laughs> <laughs> No one must know your secrets. <laughs> All right, let's get, we're gonna get Oprah out of here, so we're gonna get two questions. Yes, right at the top. Now, Oprah, you can see. Um, would you ever open a school in the United States? Yes, I'm actually thinking about it. <laughs> I'm actually oh, thinking man. about where. And, and the reason why I called it the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa, because even then I was thinking, this will just be one, this will be like the satellite school, and then I will, I will do others. But it's taken me a while to get it right. It took me about 10 years to actually get it right. So wow. thank you for that question. I'm actually thinking about it, where, where to do it. Y yes, ma'am. Um, I just wanted to find out from you, because I've been mental health trained, mental health first aid trained. And in my culture, we, I see people with mental health issues because of trauma and property, but they won't admit it. Yeah. What's the thing? How do I get them to realize that what they've experienced is actually trauma? We're gonna normalize it so, Harry and I are gonna normalize it to the point that people will be like, hey, I got mental illness. And uh, <laughs> that's, that's what you want, for it to, to call it out to the point where it's no longer such a stigmatized big deal, it's no longer a taboo, that people say, um, they recognize themselves immediately. I will tell you this, that when I, uh, when my girls, some of my girls first came here, I was talking to one on the phone who 
all the girls had said, this girl is, is depressed, she hasn't come out of her dorm, blah, blah, blah. And we, on the phone, Googled all the symptoms for depression. And this girl, who's now, by the way, doing very well, but said to me, I said, so you're every single symptom of depression. You need to get help. And she said, I can't be depressed, I'm African. And Africans don't get depressed. That's, that's a true thing I that can't we have. Be we depressed. have a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't know. be depressed, I'm African. So I want to erase that. Mm. And the way to do it is by talking about it more. So wow. watch the series. All right, Thank so um, that's it. it. That's wow. it. But, but I, like, I have one final question what? before you go. I, th one of the greatest pressures, in my opinion, of being Oprah yeah. is that everywhere you go, people are waiting for you to tell them to look under their seats. Yes. Because everyone's waiting for you to give them something. Yeah. So I want to say, look under your seats. Everybody get to boo! <laughs> you're all getting a boo! You're getting, you're getting a boo! <laughs> they slid out. I would expect that. I expect, I like how they yes. slid through that. Yes, oh my gosh. You're getting a boo! <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Oh man. That's, that's why she's that's what's so, up. such a dope philanthropist, man. Everywhere she goes, she gives. Wow. I love it. I can't wait to be a dope philanthropist. Absolutely. Because that's definitely gonna be us. Yeah, for sure. Let's, Let's go, go. y'all. Sometimes you just don't want to know what the movie's about. And then you Oh, hi. Um, I just want to say I really like the between the scenes stuff. I always watch it on YouTube, so like, can I hang out? Oh wow, thank. thank <laughs> <you>. <laughs> no, it's, that it's is not so a, cool. No, you can be sick. Sorry, I, I don't want to be rude, but it's not a. Like, Why, Anna? She's standing there, like, like, like. Um, hey. She got a surprise to tell you or something. Okay. It's. It's not like a. Which I'm, I'm just. I just talk to the audience. Yeah, I can talk to the audience. You think the audience doesn't want to talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> and see, that's how you know it's the true behind scene because she was like, "I'm cold. I'm going to get my sweater." Yeah. Uh, we like talk about um, your dead dog again and bum everybody out again. <laughs> it's not like I just brought up my dead dog. Someone in the audience asked me about my okay. dead dog, and then that, that's that's how it. Ha See, it's happening again. Just like I said, he's it's talking about it again. He's bumming everybody out. <laughs> you no, know, it's just like between the scenes. It's just like it's just like a random. I've never been. That's no great. No, I'm in a hoodie because you know the the studio's freezing and um, the ladies have to wear the cute dresses and I wanted to finally be comfortable in a studio because of the patriarchy. It's always freezing. <laughs> That's cold. This was not planned. I love I it. I see you in the halter top. I see you. She's uncomfortable. I feel like you've taken my between the scenes and turned it against me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an intimate moment I share with, and you guys just turned on me as well. <laughs> <laughs> we were hanging out, and now you just flipped it on me. Let's so, go. So what do you what do you want to do? Did you say so? Did you say so? Give, give us, us sweaters. sweaters. <laughs> How did this? I didn't take your sweaters away. Let's go. I love Why it. is the mob cheering for sweaters now? I, I, there's no no sweaters rule in this. <laughs> wow, you guys are next level. Give us sweaters, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> This is how Arab Springs start. This is like, <laughs> we want the sweaters. No, um, yeah, I, I genuinely thank you for enjoying Between the Scenes, but I, like, I don't know if there's anything Am you I the can first do. guest to come on the Between the Scenes? You're the first guest who's come out after we're done with you. Let's go! I put on a hoodie and I felt really, really confident. So you were just like, I'm just gonna come. I don't know what to do right now. I don't, because when I, between the scenes, well, I'll let's just- let's take questions from the audience. I, you know, that's oh. what you do, that's what I'll do. You can pick no. who the question comes from. That's what I do. Hi, hey, hey, hey gray, gr gray girl. Yeah. <laughs> so first of all, not to make this weird, but you're on my boyfriend's list. <laughs> <laughs> She is such a comedian, no. This this is how she is in the You done made that movies. man day with that oh, look. Oh, look at Travis' face. <laughs> uh. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> you doing good? You haven't put a ring on it yet? What's going on? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Am I on your list? <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Good to know I've got options. Thank you. Wait, can you can you back what what do you mean on, on your list? Like how? Oh <laughs> what, is that, what do you mean? He's so cute. You know your list. No. Of like, like somebody like that favorite you, actresses? That like somebody that you, 
you can sleep with, with like, you get like a hall pass for like five people. It's like five people? Yeah. yeah. Five people you can sleep with? Yeah, if you run into them and Wait, the Wait, is like a is normal right. relationship thing? Yeah. <laughs> you just go like, there are five people you can, and then you were like, she's on your list? But yeah. like, so you thought you can. I don't understand how this works. <laughs> right. No, I mean like, does the list, so do you know about, do you know who's, like, do you know that you're on lists or do you, how does that work? Um, people have made me aware that I'm on lists. <laughs> but they don't consult you at all. I don't have to sleep with him, Trevor. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's a bit weird that she's like, just so you know, you're on his list. Like it's, like it's, okay. No, she's, wow. she's trying to wingman her own boyfriend and I respect it. <laughs> wow, okay. That's crazy. You know what I feel about like this list thing is like. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like the list is a lot more like fun when the person's not real. Like, like, cause right now it's like the list is real now. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be like someone you'd never meet? And now you're like there, like, like you're smiling a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, who's on your list then? Um, the top of my list is probably Hugh Jackman. Oh, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, people in nice. Hollywood. That's why I can make that joke. He's too nice and he's like Australian nice, which makes it even worse. He's like super, 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 oh yeah, nice to see you again, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> so, who else? Um, bon Jovi. Okay, Hugh Jackman, Bon Jovi. Yeah. Who else? Who else is on the list? You, sure. No, no, no. Don't put me on your list. Don't put me. I don't want sympathy list. Don't you sympathy list me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it kind of sounded like he was trying and to say it first, right? Right. Yeah. But she naming some 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 old names. Well, Hugh Jackman, like. Bon Jovi. Maybe that's what she like, boo. That's her list, okay? She could do third. Who's going to be the fifth? You know, maybe Abraham Lincoln. Ooh, I didn't even know they had lists. What's this, what's this about? <laughs> I guess when you are married, you don't even know. No <laughs> sympathy list. I don't want sympathy. I want, like, thought out lists. <laughs> Hugh Jackman, Bon Jovi, anyone else? Um, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. Well, it's funny you say that because... Uh-oh. Oh, he's not here. I know, right? <laughs> you know, I thought I was gonna bring up Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. And he was just gonna walk up to you and be like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I John before the show and I was like, so what are you gonna do while we're setting up? And he's like, well, I can just hang out with the audience and they can ask me questions and stuff. Uh, We're just ordinary people. <laughs> um, and so, and so I said, you, you wouldn't want to do that, John. They're animals. And, <laughs> and he said, no, no, give them a chance, <laughs> Trevor. Give them a give chance. Give them a chance. So if you've ever wanted to ask John Legend a question, and don't ask him for like a record deal. Don't make it something like awkward, like, like real questions. Like this is your moment to interview John Legend. So if you have a question that, y yes, ma'am, you went up first. Uh, does Miles love the music? I don't think he knows anything yet. Um, <laughs> my daughter's very aware of my music. She requests it, finally. Uh, <laughs> when I made the Christmas album, she started requesting my music uh, from me. So she, she'll like ask to listen to that as uh, Christmas music. Oh, that's and, nice. And uh, in April, any time of year, she doesn't <laughs> care. <laughs> so I've been listening to my Christmas album for like eight months now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, John Legend, how you got perfect cheekbone? This man cheekbone so perfect, he got he it's all like almost like a puppet jaw. You know how it's separate, like the jaw would just drop down. Oh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> now you have me stand the man cheekbones. <laughs> oh, can I tell you what I found really uh, amazing is um, so Chrissy Teigen, John Legend. These guys are like hashtag couple goals. Everyone <laughs> envies you. No, you, you seem like you have the most fun together. Uh, and then I feel like you have the perfect kids. Because, <laughs> no, because your daughter looks exactly like Chrissy. Like you go like, this is mini Chrissy Teigen. And then your son, I, the first time I saw the picture, I thought Chrissy Teigen had done a face swap. <laughs> and I don't know if you've seen like- He looks a lot like me. He look, he is you. He has my personality too. Are you so serious? So far, yeah. Do, yeah. You, do, you th do you think either of them will get into music? You know, we'll see. I would love it if they loved music, but I'm not gonna pressure them. I'm right. just gonna be like, you know, you have to go to piano lessons. <laughs> <laughs> you can be an accountant, but on the piano. One plus one. Anyone?